Hello everyone, my name is Carter Wetzel. I'm the lead researcher and economist for Shape Protocol. And today I'm gonna be talking about um, Shape Protocol, the value of privacy and its integrations into DeFi. But but before we get there, we're gonna talk a little bit about, a little bit about the role of stable coins in DeFi. Um, stable coins really are the Web3 killer use case, but there's, there's still something, you know, missing. So, you know, when crypto started, it was all about uh, Bitcoin, which, ha which had these really strong promises, right? It has promises of consensus instead of command and control. It was decentralized, open source, uh, permissionless, and scarce. And so, you know, Bitcoin has come in, has really been the standard uh, for crypto, and, and it solved that scarcity use case. But there's been a couple of downsides with Bitcoins, and those really come down to three key components. Uh, one is its volatility. If I'm going to go, you know, buy something in the real world and Bitcoin has a volatile price, it's kind of hard to use it as a medium of, of exchange because of that volatility. The, the second negative of Bitcoin is, is it lacks it lacks privacy, right? Um, in order for, you know, to be able to you know, go to the grocery store and buy something and to have, have it not be a security risk, you actually need that on-chain transaction to have privacy, right? And finally, Bitcoin is, is it's slow. So, you know, stable coins came in and kind of solved some of these problems, right? Stable coins are much faster than Bitcoin and they're stable, right? So they're, they're good forms of commerce because they're, they're pegged to stable assets or su supposed stable assets like the U.S. dollar. Um, and at the end of the day, stable coins, they need a safe mechanism uh, for stability. They need speed for adoption and they need interoperability for integration. But the, the key piece that I believe is missing from, from Web3 in terms of integration into business and commerce is actually privacy. If you're paying you know, employees on the blockchain, everyone knows how much each person is getting paid. If I was trying to run a business on the blockchain, my competitors can know, you know who is buying products, when they're buying the products, for how much and which product, right? So we need privacy for smart contracts. We need privacy for transactions. We need to bring parity uh, to you know the De DeFi world uh, and, and have the same level of privacy that real world businesses have. And so the future of stablecoins require us to not settle for the existing system uh, within DeFi. So how can we improve? And this is where, you know, Shape Protocol set out. Uh, could we build every single key DeFi primitive, but could we integrate uh, privacy directly into those applications? And so this is the, the product suite that Shape Protocol is building. We're launching a decentralized privacy preserving stablecoin called Silk. Uh, a payments application called Silk Pay. We've already launched bonds. Uh, insurance is on the roadmap. Staking derivatives have already been launched. And um, our decentralized exchange, ShadeSwap, is launching February 7th. Um, synthetic assets are on the roadmap. Lending is also going to be launching in Q1 of this year, and uh, as well as the, the savings-esque product is also on the roadmap. So all of these key primitives that we've come to know and love in DeFi, but with privacy directly integrated into them. And Silk is this super unique stablecoin that's never been done before. A private global stable is its slogan. Uh, all, you have that on-chain transactional privacy. It's over collateralized. It's permissionless. It's multi-chain compatible. But what's super unique about Silk is it's not pegged just to the US dollar. All of these stablecoins out there keep pegging to the US dollar over and over and over again. But how can you claim to be decentralized decentralized money if you're pegged to a centralized monetary system. And so Silk is, is a world's first. It's private, it's global, and it's stable in terms of what it's, what it's pegged to. And so that's, uh, you know, the flagship product of Shape Protocol is Silk. Uh, Silk is built on top of Secret Network. It's a Cosmos blockchain. We have private smart contracts. We use BAM Protocol and Super off our oracles, and we're built using uh, Rust and Cosmosm. And Shape Protocol's vision at the end of the day, it's global connectivity to private DeFi. We want to build simple tools, creating a more uh, powerful you. And when we when we originally sat down to build these primitives, there was a couple things we observed. We observed that you know every single app has its own token, right? Like you go to some new layer one, each layer one has its three lending products, its five stable coins, all the different payment applications. For users, it's super confusing because you got to find the standalone website. And then once you find the website, it has its own token and you got to figure out how that token works. And so we wanted to figure out a way to unify 
all the key apps that you know and love while also having uh, privacy. And that's what Shade is. It's a single value accrual token for each DeFi uh, primitive that's launched. There's no new token per app. A single website to unify the user experience, privacy for transactions and balances. And because all of these apps are working together under a single token, uh, their interconnected nature really allows for uh, an, an, a, a grown uh, design space. There's more to be done with it. And the way the revenue works is as a new app is launched, uh, all of the revenue goes back to stakers. And so the more apps we launch, the more usage there is, um, the more that can, um, you know, the more rewards, rewards that can be given out via decentralized governance. And Shea today has done great. There's a really massive uh, following. It's a growing movement. So if you believe that privacy is the key to unlocking the full value of a decentralized future, if you believe in what Silk could unlock for the entire world as, as a global interoperability hub between global currencies and commodities, join the community, get involved, and thank you for, the, for listening to this presentation. Mm -hmm.